Hey everybody, how's it going? Sorry that last night didn't go as planned, but tonight we'll hopefully be able to finish up Firewatch, which most likely we will if Moon's told me anything about it. Uh, then we'll be able to do next game for game clearing. I'm excited because it's something I've been wanting to get my hands on for quite a while now, and I'm ashamed that I've, put, I've been putting it off for far too long. But before we do that, of course, we gotta go back day 77 in Firewatch. From what Moon tells me, I think we have about either like an hour or an hour and a half until we're done with this game. So, hey, plenty of time to do that and then jump into the next game. So how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing good tonight. Hope you're all not dying of heat stroke because it is getting so damn hot outside. It's like, I need to check real quick and see how hot it is. It is not 72. I don't know what my phone is smoking. Feels like it's more like 85 or 86 uh, just in the office right now. And outside, it might be a little bit cooler outside because of wind and such, but still. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a frequency. Frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Do I... do I really a have to? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Yeah, that sounds like it's a bad idea. I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ay, ay, ay. All right, that's it. Bottoms up. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. All right. Let's see. Looks like it's coming from where the firefighter station was, or the firefighter camp, so I guess that's what we'll do. Eh, why not? Tracking device. Hmm? When did I pick this up? Leave receiver. And just getting question marks from it. Alright, well, let's go. Anyone tries to start anything, at least I got a fire axe with me. Yeah, it's definitely coming from... Alright, let's see. So, I'm right here, and it's pointing to the southwest, so... Probably by the big tree, if I had to guess. I'd also be over there in this area. Well, it's getting a lot more hazy with how close that fire is, and I'm sad that I missed out on getting a picture of it uh, at this hour. And I can't talk to Delilah right now because the radio's off. Alright, here we go. Ooh. It's coming from right over here. Choppy choppy. Or I guess I'll just move through it. do 
Don't scare me like that. See, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. It was alarm. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Oh, nothing's exploded. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. That just <sighs> looks really weird, seeing a tree jutting out of rock like that, and you can see the roots out okay, there. Okay, let's just think. Says the woman with the half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking, and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked, and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back at your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. Uh, wait, I'm what? in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. There's a tower. I don't want to go up there alone. Here, Burns, you come with me. Don't worry. I'll use you as a human shield, or I guess a a plank of cardboard shield, if anyone tries to attack. Aha! Burns, what do you see? Anyone in there? No? Cool. Oh shit. There's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was oh, burnt! somewhere nearby. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Uh, you okay, buddy? It sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. We just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Ah, damn it, I didn't report the lookout. Hey, Burns? You doing okay down there? I didn't mean to chuck him off the tower, I just wanted to send him down. together okay keep our story straight from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation everything we just Where's my hat on the floor honest and consistent yeah i suppose you're right i know 
Also, that's a really stupid, like, doormat of do just don't tread on me on a, on a doormat right here. It's like, what are you supposed to do when you walk in here? Take a wide step over this thing? Or is it meant to be ironic? Hmm. Port on Delilah. Port on Henry. My pine cones. My whiskey. I'm definitely going to need this by the end of today. Oop. How you doing, Turd Reynolds? Aw, look at you. You're so cute. Well, better go see how Burns is doing. Hey, Burns, you doing okay down there? No. Okay, that's good. All right. Now what do I do? Oh, well, I got the key to the 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 mines so I could or the, to the cave I could go check that. All right, hold on, Burns. Got to get you back in position. Burns. 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 All right, fine. Here. You stand guard right no. Stand good. You're killing me, Burns. Right there. Nope. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Burns. Come on. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Up oh, there we go. Perfect. There. Now Burns is our little lookout. Look at him. So stoic, so majestic. He's the ranger every uh, junior ranger grow wants to grow up to be. All right, let's go. I do have to know, is my toilet ball still in the toilet? Yep, still down there. Still not picking it up. By the sound of the flies, I'm going to guess I probably used that toilet a couple times, and I do not want to catch whatever disease has probably coated that ball at this point. Can't call Delilah right now, so I guess all it's left to do is just go into the cave. Hey, you. You didn't actually make that call, right? To no. Lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. I'm wondering if whoever's been messing with us also tapped these radios as well. Or was he just like, when we were at the station in Wapiti... He was just, like, off in the distance with, like, a boom mic or, like, a karaoke set or whatever you want to call it. Just, like, an audio recorder to just, like, capture what we were saying. It was pretty garbled, so I doubt it was anything official. Bonk. Oh, sorry. Oh, time to go spelunking. Oh, 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. Let me out. Okay, it's not let me out. All right. Uh, is there anything to anchor? No, it looks like there was an anchor here and fell out. That's a long way down. It's freezing in here. Hmm. Echo. Sorry, I just had to do that. Uh, there's something right there. I can't tell what it is. No anchors, though. God, I need to get out of here. They've been building up bears, and bears live in caves. Oh, wait, where am I? Am I, like, closer to the fire? Because it's getting a lot redder out here. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found it. Oh, hi, dragon. I can't read this. What are you talking about? I'm reading it right now. How's it going? I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my rope. I'm going to hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Oh, you mean with how hazy and red everything is? Yeah, we're perfectly fine. Also, let's run countermeasures.
Dragon, thank you so much for the raid. I guess tonight was uh, your 3DS capture night because you wanted to set it out. Hope it went well. I'm guessing by the fact that you couldn't read this means that it was still stuck in Japanese. We're playing Firewatch tonight. It's Moon's pick for game clearing, and we're pretty close to the end of the game, and then we'll be jumping into my next pick for game clearing. Also, that was your first time seeing the new countermeasures? Huh. I could have sworn you'd probably seen them before. But either way, uh, so far we've been assaulted, spied on, and also locked in a cave uh, being left to die. And also we are being framed for something going on. I think it's like we're being framed for uh, setting up the fire that's destroying the forest around here. And we're trying to find out who's doing it, why they're doing it, and trying to clear our names. Don't have homebrew on it yet. Region lock is still an issue. Ah. All right. Well, I... Where, where the hell am I anyways? Okay, I'm right here. And looks like... Man, let's see. Wow, that cave spanned a long way away. Yeah, it was like right there, and then just all the way down to there. Jeez. All right. Let's go this way, I guess. Luckily, reading isn't needed to enjoy Kirby. Oh, yeah, you were playing uh, Super Kirby Clash. I thought that was the one that was on the Switch, which is why I got a little confused for a second. What the hell? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. Built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap... That's I Clash Deluxe. Ah, okay. Stick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um... Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Smarter than... Wait, are you saying I'm a knucklehead? What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um... Someone came in thinking it was a Switch version as well? Because I know lots of stuff. Surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that waits over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff. I'll tell you I what. was gonna say MacGyver. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I. Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires and. I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see. Talking meteors. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you, avoid second person, it's too controversial for science, that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from others, from outer space, can be used uh, used to bounce ham radio waves off of, off of what? and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now, you're thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie, like Flight of the Navigator. It's not real, but you are wrong. It is real. It is science. It's possible that the meteor scatter communications, my science fair project proves that meteor scatter communications is real. But what is MSC? Is the radio prop 
uh, propagation made that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors upon their at Atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communications pa pass between operators up to one. I guess that's supposed to be just like 10, but he's like 1500 miles away. Are these your own words, Brian? I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1000 miles away from my house. We're going to try and talk to at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that it won't work as we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish communication. Hmm. Yeet! Ah. Aw, oh, man. Look at this six school folder. Is that Freddy Krueger? You're dead. I thought he was playing... He was like... Yeah, he's like playing basketball or something. Brian Goodwin. The Draculords. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Hey, <laughs> doodler. Alright, so what else have we got? Animal Nest. The Fortress Wall. Five degrees north. Neil Black has just exposed the large underground gambling racket in, in the nation's history. With the mayor back in, backing in the glory, uh, basking in the glory, and it's uh, in the glory. It's only when consequences come a knocking. Is mm, Black called on again? Neil Black has a lot of things, but a fall guy isn't one of them. Beat the odds with the most dangerous. The mob has has his number, and the uh, a high risk sting goes wrong. It's only a of time before the powers that be do what they always do. Put it all in black. Hmm. Black band. Go ahead, kill my family. It only makes me stronger. Wow, that is super edge. He'd hide out here to read comics. His grief is their sorrow. sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. From CA Comics. Honestly, thought that said Gary, uh, no, that is Gary Bass. Issue number three. I'm keeping this. I can't keep this. Oh, I guess I am keeping it. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Eh, why not? Whoop. Nope. Uh, where? There it is. He's dying sure. Hmm. Oh wait, maybe I can hang it up here somewhere? No, I can't. Ooh. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on? Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Interesting but wrong, not conventional, packs maximum voltage, I have no idea what I'm even looking at. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Huh. Honestly, part of me kind of wants to do, like, a D&D &D at some point, just to try it out and see what it's like. 
There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Dear Mr. Zack, uh, here, this will be easier. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are the mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you find a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian. stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. That is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this node, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors that I, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return the, them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Fox Trad Lane North, uh, Plate, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I'll give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. <laughs> Everybody likes Pong. I like Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Hmm. Oh. You made this place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. <laughs> Impressive! Wait, that little shit. He stole the pillows. Don't want to tug on it a couple times, make sure it's good. Alright. If you fall and break your back this time, Henry, you can't blame me for it. What do you think is in there? I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. They closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? No. No, I think I'm probably good. Bring on jail. <laughs> You'd probably just get probation. I'd be the one stuffed away in the Lusk women's prison for the next ten years. Hi, Moon. Guessing you just got off work. Okay, where am I going? Okay, so I'm right here, so I need to go left. Just follow this pathway, and I should be going to the cave. Hmm. Damn it. Damn it. Those girls really did a number on you, huh? No, I'm glad they're not dead, but it also means that they weren't a part of what's going on. Yeah. I suppose you're right. You just have to keep searching. Yeah. You know, aside from the... 
the impending fire coming our way, it's actually pretty peaceful out here. Aside from all the smoke and haze and the person who clearly wants to try and kill me for, uh, I don't know, whatever reason. It's not bad out of here. Alright, get home safe, okay? I need something to defend myself. A fire axe isn't going to do me any good. Aha, an antler. I'll stab him with it. But I thought I left the, the key inside the the lock. Yeah. Where did I get the key from? Alright, come on, Antler. You and me, we're going places. Alright, well, before we do that, I remember seeing something. Here, Antler. Go! Okay, fine. You watch my back. There was something dangling up ahead, and I want to go see what that is. And you. I think it was up here. Yep, there it is. But of course, there's no anchor point. Great. Parkour. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Nope. I wanted to get my antler. I think it's stuck now. Damn it. Eh. Eh. Come on. Come on. Nope, it's officially stuck. Trapped for all eternity. I thought there was something laying there. Well, the music's picking up, so we're going to be discovering something soon. gonna yeah I'm just gonna step over this <sighs> oh shit so I wonder who is it his dad who's been messing with us I, I don't know maybe because he didn't want anybody to discover his son's body I'm getting nervous. I'm just gonna see like a figure run off in the, in the, I guess fog. 
I don't know. What, what would you call when like it's really? Uh, I guess haze would be a better word for it. Down. Huh. Loops right back around to the entrance. Oh, geez, it looks like it's getting worse. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's, what's wrong? Uh, Only yeah, about that. A body. A body? Delilah, it's Brian Goodwin. <gasps> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I think it was an accident. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now? What do we do now, D? I I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day 79. <sighs> this was supposed to be a fun camping adventure. Why did I have to go to shit? Ooh, I think I can hear the fire cr uh, crackling. Ooh, it's getting bad. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is two percent contained. Wow, it has gotten really bad. Fire or the site fire or. The two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? How this is all connected? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's got to be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't hmm. even know where to begin. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. You should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. 
Well, I was hoping you'd have a plan. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. All right, Turt Reynolds. I'm not gonna leave you here to burn. Come on, you come with me, buddy. We gotta cheese it, Turt. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I wish I could take some Biff with me. I think that's everything that I. Oh wait, no, alcohol. We're getting a lot of this for the shit storm that's coming our way after this. Uh, let's see. It looks like we just got a straight up conspiracy wall at this point. Oh, hey, it's us. Or, well, it's me and Julia. At least we actually get to see what Henry looks like. He's not just some n n faceless character. I was going to say nameless. Uh, I wish I could take the guitar with me. Well, it'll be safe on there. It's made of metal after all, so it can't burn. Alright, uh, I don't think there's anything else that we can take with us. Nothing in the stove, nothing on the bench. We got everything off the desk. Alright. Ooh, it's getting hot out here. you think that they would issue us, like, maybe, like, a, a rebreather or an oxygen mask? Come on, Burns, you're coming with me. I'm not going to leave you here to die in this fire. It would be too ironic of a death. But I need to set you down because I need to know where I'm going. Okay, going west. Rangers stick together. A plane or a helicopter? Alright, I need to go that way. Come on, Burns. Alright, keep going that way. Uh, okay. Keep going this way. Uh, is there a way down? Here we go. Let's see. Yep, going the right way. sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will huh? let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Alright, it's pointing down there. All right, Burns. Ladies first. Rangers lead the way. You good down there?
We do in the forest the National Service burns. A little scuffed up, but we can polish that out. Alright, it's pointing that way. Oop. Hello. Henry, what? Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. surveillance operation okay what does that mean what is it it was Ned Goodwin he was the one listening to us just him Ned Goodwin he made the tape yeah he's gone deeper into the Shoshone he doesn't want anyone to know he's out here he because he killed Brian because he killed his fucking son He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. <sighs> oh, shit. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Adventure! Your days of searching in magazines and dusty books are over. The player's handbook you hold in your hands contains all the wizard and wyvern spells, combat tables, and character classes you need to make a name for yourself in the sundered lands of Erdark. But you, a stout dwarven fighter or a willowy elf ranger, your quests rely on the knowledge you'll find herein. And because this guy carries... Uh, Phaedrus's seal of quality, it is guaranteed compatibility with all Wizard and Wyvern's adventure campaigns. Quests, models, and one-shot epics go beyond the game, only with, uh, Phaedrus. To a rad, bad, mega dad. Some of Brian's stuff. I'm guessing that's Brian and that's Ned down there. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. There's the teen magazines. Let's see. Subject to Lila A, age 43. That's the draft report. The one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Does that say 
Reliable, observing, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception. Uh, observe facts, never mm, fuck. <laughs> it sounds like me when I'm trying to do uh, write the script for like the behind the scenes stuff for the LPs. It's just like, all right, come on, let's see this. Uh, ah, fuck, gotta do it again. He wrote down everything he did to us, and everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. Exit, exit, loose entrance, Wapiti Station, South Lake, North Fence. Staff return August 10th. To do, return borrowed equipment, erase the H and D evidence, leave no trace. Subject Henry M, age 39, program status review. Observation traits. Fuck. Guilty. Yeah, it's not what I wanted. Delilah, and this is probably when he started doing those. Let's see. Henry keeps to the path, passive, guilty, forthright. No kids, abandoned wife, 11 years married. Would not be missed if removed. Supervisor sitting the God damn it. some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. I don't have any photos left. Lists of supplies, winter needs, 1989. 2,000 ounces of... Oh, I thought that said morphine for a second. That's propane. 1.5 cords uh, backup firewood. 400 pounds of food. 100 here, 300 buried. Three winter jackets, two new blank or three new blankets, 25 box matches, 25 books, 90... Ample hours, amp powered battery powered socks, 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 new boots, duct tape, try elk skin, summer weight gain total 35 pounds. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls. Yeah. I thought you threw it into the lake. Well, he must have fished it out. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Hmm. I don't see the thing, like, to... Let's see, electronic junk. So he's just been stealing whatever he can get his hands on just to rig up a power source for this place. It's not a bad little bunker. I figured I'd also see the thing that he was using to listen in on us, like, that special radio that he had. But I guess he... No, he used the cassette to contact us. So he figured it, he would leave the, the tapped radio behind to let it burn and get destroyed for, uh, so it's not used as evidence. Radio log. Stakes too high. No one will believe B was happy. Make D plus uh, 2F less believable. 2F crazy, like wife, not a good guy. Mama Grizz back. They heard me, fully believe there is a program, use this. Reports final, make sure they find them. Uh, 2F almost caught me at sight, reports worked. Recorded call, used for leverage. 2F found supplies, keys gone, how? Can't let 2F find B. Get a room. Reminder, scout migration due to fire. Fucked up. Do not want to leave. Reminder, hide supplies for migration. D and 2 of suspect conspiracy. Funny, if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas. Was that say start... Start... Whopping? 
Start working on reports. Record all cons. Vandalize these tower. Pin on 2F. Try to make remote recording device. Uh, you and I research site. Move. Pit against each other. Hike to BT point. Severed radio comm. D never called for hikers list. Re-rigged. Delano to pick up dual frequency. Can hear D and 2F. Uh, concurrently, 2F hiked by Cave. He seems less interested. 2F, uh, Jules, Julian, Julia. 2F is a good guy. Haven't seen Mama Grizz in two m months. D's drunk again. I wonder if that's, like, an actual bear that he's been seeing wandering the forest. Or that's, like, a code name for D. I'm gonna guess it's probably a bear that's been around here. First Ranger, fly fishing at Jay Lake. Reminder, rainbow... Uh, rainbow shitting cat flies. Saw Mama Grizz on morning hike. Rainy week, waters, uh, stocks good. Smoking trout while hiker's gone. Uh, Brian's birthday. Saw First Ranger of the year. Haven't left base in two weeks, three weeks. Dirt crazy. Big hike tomorrow to the cave. New lookout in 2F. Henry is 2F. Saw 2F coming out of cave. Decon for hikers list. Delay her. She'll forget. We had quite the view. Not really. He could see my lookout. Okay, that's actually a good, like yeah. He can just like. So this is where he's been spying on me this entire time. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Let's see, Steven's room. I can't read that as too blurry. Nine lives left. That's actually a pretty cool design. Oh god, the glare's too strong. Here, let me see if I can just Here we go. Neil Black's first day of retirement could have gone better. It began with Neil shot in the chest and left for dead. Now, after decades of bringing hundreds of elements of South City to justice, Neil, his feet with, with no leads and only a stray that refuses to leave his apartment. Who'd want Neil Black dead? A better question might be who wouldn't. Li lives lost. Neil is at the service of endangered the... Uh, Mercil client he's ever had himself. I wonder if I can read the other one back here. Nope, way too blurry. Alright, uh, that looks to be everything inside the bunker. I'm not seeing anything else to report. I'm not seeing any other notes to read. Lookout supplies. So he's also been stealing from the other, from the lookout box just for himself. All right. Well, I gotta get out of here. Where is here? All right. So there. All right, so just follow up the river and then go through there and then we'll be out. Uh, how do we stop the fire dragon? Because I don't know if you noticed, it's a little out of control at this point. Uh, Burns? Burns? Oh, there you are, buddy. I almost left you behind. You gotta get a flamethrower, fight fire with fire, right? Uh, yeah, we tried that. There was a fire that was, uh, built more in, uh, that was set more inland, and it's only made things worse. So now, I'm just taking my good buddy Burns, and we're getting the hell out of here. Him in a 
I still think it was just an accident. Delilah, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <sighs> Dee? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Yeah, but what if they don't come back? What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about uh, something? I don't know. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. Just wait. I'm gonna go. Okay. If you have to. I am going the right way, right? Okay, I am. I tell you, Burns, this was not what I signed up for. I've been... I've been it's white. Let's see. So, it was back in May when this all started. Today, it was like 70, 76, I think it said, at the start of today, so that's around two months, uh, no, two and a half, uh, around two and like, two and a half months, or two starting into three months, so, yeah, it's, it's the start of August right now. I tell you, worst summer ever. I don't know if I'm ever going to take this job again. I don't know if I want to take this job again. I mean, after the absolute BS that I had to put up with for these past three months, would I ever want to come back here again? I mean, it was peaceful, it was nice and all, but I... I have a crazy dude mess with me for those three months. We have uh, the constant fear of getting attacked by bears. Got attacked by a bee and stunned by it, and I didn't even do anything. You're supposed to leave him alone. They'll leave you alone, but that's bull. I tell you, Burns. I could have, I should have stayed home this summer. All right. Just keep going straight. It looks like the communication sign has been fixed, at least. A lot of good that's going to do, though, because this entire area is just going to go up in flames. Think I can go this way? Nope. Dead end. Well, there's Delilah's place. We're almost there. Hey, 
It kind of would be nice if we just periodically see fire uh, helicopters flying overhead every now and then. We did see a fire plane fly overhead earlier, but still. Alright. This way we're almost out of here, Burns. Don't worry, I'll save you. Like I said earlier, rangers stick together, even though I'm not a ranger. I'm as close to a ranger as you'll get. Oh god, that thing is so tiny. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? <gasps> Birds! Oh no. Oh no! Burns, where'd you go, buddy? Burns! I couldn't even save one life. Well, that's not true. I have turned Reynolds that I saved. Oh god. I feel like this thing's gonna snap the second I get into the middle of this entire winch system. There is not enough money in the world. <laughs> You've gone crazy with the forest fire. There was no burns. Oh no. It's finally setting in. Because <laughs> like one of the things uh, stated early in the game is that some people go crazy with the isolation. He was never there to begin with. I was just holding air. I've gone crazy. Well, we finally get to see Delilah's tower. Which is why I'm going to go raid the toilet. Have a good time. Oh, she's got a little potted plant in here. Hmm, not a bad setup. Why does she have a picture of Teddy Roosevelt? Lucian's Gambit. Book 16 of the Chronicles of, Cr of Crindel. The thrilling continuation of the best-selling series of novels that have gripped the world. When we last joined our hero, he had been separated from his allies by the evil Venom Fang whose plot to conquer all of the mortal realms is nearing fruition. Usin and Lux reunite in the Shards of Truth to free Grindel from his enchantment. One thousand and one crosswords. Oh god! That, uh, maybe it's a good thing I threw Burns down a ravine. Oh, jeez, what happened there? Alright. First, Burns can dig it. Can you? Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Yeah, it's me, Turk. Yeah, it is. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, oh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire. Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. How did we prevent one fire? One fire is still going. That isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah, me neither. 
I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> Alright, sure. Um, maybe... Mm. Maybe become a crossword editor at the New York Times. Well, you could always go take over the crossword at the New York Times. Oh yeah, I could probably fall right into that. New York, big city. Couldn't be further from here. I've never been. Well, when I end up out there. Yeah. So, um, what about me? I think you should go to Julia. or something if you write about this. I am. Um, yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Alright, I'll go see her. Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. See you when I see you. I'll see you when I see you. There's the helicopter. Let's see. I am dirt. Henry, what we know. White, wear shorts. I could wear a better shirt than that. What is that up in the corner? And a bear. And why is my tower on fire? <sighs> you are going to my belly on the flyback. Mmm, Biff. Alright, looks to be everything. Wait, no. Can we save one thing of Biff? Can we? No, we can't. Is there anything that I can save? Or I can take with me? I can take the thermos. Glass cleaner. I can't grab anything down there. Eh, her mug. You know what? I'm taking the gambit with me. It's going to be a long flight back. I need a good book to read. Hmm? No. I guess that's where she was just sitting out watching me. Although you can't see anything. Well, I hope this was a good read. Oh my god, another actual human. Do you know how long it's been since I've seen another person here? No, we must take the book with us. I must know how this chapter ends. Alright, fine, forget it. That was Firewatch. Hey. Not the achievement. Day 79. Uh, that was a pretty fun story. I actually really liked it. It was an, actually a nice, calming, peaceful game that we did. Oh, no. Kill it.
All right, there we go. So, uh, thoughts on the game? I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. I, uh, it was a little slow at parts. Not gonna lie. And I think the the fact that it was just like one big misunderstanding and just Ned going crazy with paranoia kind of felt like a letdown, but still, I liked it. I like the mystery element to it, and I I just like the going around exploring. I like the characters of Henry and Delilah; they were fun. Uh, the visuals are pretty good. Had that like I I don't know what like the art style for it is, but it had like that nice crisp like uh foresty feeling to it, and I like that the credits actually show all the pictures that I've taken throughout the game. Of course, none that I took tonight because well I used up all my film unfortunately uh during last time we played this. But, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing through this. Here's the destroyed camp. I don't remember what one I took above that. I think that was where I got the, the ropes. Ah! Thank you for the gift sub, Dragon, to Wax. Giving out 15 gift subs. Jeez, you have been very generous to this channel, dude. Oh, and there's me when I accidentally flashbang myself. Yep. Uh... Okay, uh, so this is uh, when Brian had the camera. There's a picture of his dad. A T-Rex eating my tower. There's Brian himself. And I'm guessing that's probably their first day on the job. Man, I was actually not expecting to see the fact that, oh, hey, everything that happened in this game is because Brian fell to his death in the cave. But, that was Firewatch. Let's see, special features. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you can play the game again with commentary. I might actually do that on my off time, because that sounds like it's going to be really fun to just... Uh, listen through it, like uh, going through this game while listening to a podcast. And there's also free roam. Cool. Wander the world at your own pace. What are we still missing in terms of achievements? Or did we actually get all the achievements in the game? We're missing two. Have a hands on encounter with the local wildlife. And find and hear the recording of the Psalm O Shoshone. Hmm. I'll probably go snag those in my own time. I need to figure out what those are. But that is where we're going to call it for Firewatch. And when I get back, uh, we'll start my next pick. I'm going to save it for when it goes live because, well, it's a game I think everybody's going to enjoy. I also get the CoComs ready to go. All right, so see you in a bit.
All right, I'm back. I got the window for Cocoms open. And now it is time for us to play a game that I've technically beaten before, but not this type of ver version of it. Because our next uh, pick for game clearing, well, my next pick is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DS, uh, DX for the Switch. Poyo. Poyo. I like this animated intro. It, imagine if they just made a Zelda anime in this style. Uh, th does the, the Zelda cartoon count? That's not an anime. Well, so why am I so tiny? Because you're small. I'm not that much shorter than you. You're right. There we go. Now accurate height. I mean... Yeah. You're not invited to play 3DS games with me. <laughs> <laughs> there. there Egg. I really do love the art style for this. This game, from what I've seen in, in like trailers and like the, the box, it just looks absolutely beautiful. I need to get back to this game. Also, Here. that could be one big omelet. Mm, omelet. Okay, let me get the feet up for you guys. There we go. Actually, you know what? No. Let's see. Take us twice as much damage with no heart drops for advanced. Oh, God, no. <clears throat> And we'll just keep it simple with Link. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Colent Island. Uh, the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you was ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How do, you, how do I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, it's still on the back of the shield. Mario? Who the hell is Mario? <laughs> I miss him when they just basically had, like, what the hell? It's a stand for something. It says Piranha Plant. Hmm. I miss it when uh, the Zelda games had like nods to like Mario and Luigi. Uh, I think they and vice to... versa. Yeah. Wait, when did Mario and Luigi have Zelda references? Uh, Mario RPG on SNES. Oh right, that that's right. Because th I think that's the only time you ever see Link in a Mario game. No, and then there's the. Light panel thing in 3D World. Then there's hidden rupee in uh, Mario Galaxy. It's either one or two. True. It's a rupee made out of star bits. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm fine. How are you? Now, Moon, I have a very important question for you. Do you know how to read Japanese? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. How to say, please call outside. It seems the old man Orada is a shy guy in person. Stand for something. It says cheap cheap. I like this house that he has. I want to live in this house. I want a vacation home in this thing. Okay, Link, jump right into the pot. <laughs> also, Ching Chom. You're going to see a lot of Mario references in this. The chain chump can't hurt you, can it? I don't think so. Here, that when you're running out of hearts, you better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. Nope, he can't hurt you. We're gonna work today. There's this new stand thing we have out to promote our uh, savings card. Mm -hmm. And these kids came in, 
and it's hollow in the middle, and it's just cardboard. So they start fucking picking it up and pointing themselves in it. Had to yell at them to stop. Wait, what? Yeah, they would pick it up and they would uh, place it on top of each other so they're in the middle of it. Huh. Also, Mario isn't the only thing that gets referenced in this game because there's Gordos. Hey, fitting I play Kirby tonight. I like the thing that just like uh, the Nintendo games from this era were just one big cinematic universe. I mean, we can get there one day with Sonic and Detective Pikachu. True. Hoot hoot. So, you're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act all so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there, Hoot. You did that voice all wrong. Who's <laughs> Hoot? What? Have you, uh, have you not watched some Call Me Johnny's Zelda reviews? N no, I haven't seen those reviews. Yeah, no, he has to give like the old boy Zelda voice, like, <laughs> I'm Kabora Kabora! Hey, that's not accurate, you can't kill Gordos. Well, Kirby hasn't been trying hard enough. The only time I knew you can kill a Gordo was in the first Kirby, and that's by landing on a weird clone of himself. Or Kirby 64, where you become the Gordo. That war in Forgotten Land, where Dedede decides to whack you with one. <laughs> oh god, I think my controller's starting to stick. What do you mean? Well, like, like drift? No, not drift, but like, it gets slow when I try to go left. Ugh. It's weird that they stuck with the, uh, just the eight directions like the original. Yeah. <clears throat> I got a piece of heart. Moon, I'm guessing you didn't hear my question earlier. Uh, no. What was your question? Do you know how to read Japanese? Uh. No. Well, fuck. Why? I like how you I asked. Will I will. I, I will like send you why. I like how you asked Moon if she can read Japanese when the person who has been playing Japanese games for a good chunk of this year is right here. But are they in Japanese writing? Yes. Oh. Do you do you not remember Lost Planet? All oh, right. <laughs> you didn't understand anything in it though. I had a translator. It's a bullshit. Yeah, I have a translator too. Let's go Google. Who told? Brave lad. <laughs> On your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much a mystery you will yeah, find no, no, in this, this is why. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the way, have you ever visited the, t the tail cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching, Hoot, but he's asleep. Uh, he sleeps with his, with his eyes open. Um, settings? No, it is a Japanese Internet. region 3D. <laughs> okay, well, uh, those are the obvious things. If I would say, like, oh, change the language. If I would say, I can't. Languages aren't an option on a Japanese 3DS. Well, you're fucked. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get a homebrew on it so I can get past the region lock. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to uh, stuff in... Like dust and powder. Bullshit, you're a tanuki. You're gonna be a bit lost, thanks to me. Why are you making why are you making Link lost, you asshole? Oh, at least there's like a fairy's fountain literally right above him. Let me heal your half a heart of damage. Hey, half a heart is better than a full heart. So you don't want to have a heart? PBG? Yes, Moon? Why am I so small and you're a giant? <laughs> That's what I was saying! What? <laughs> I, I'm just emulating real life. <laughs> <laughs> you are six foot. I am at least close to your height. I am 5'11". 
Mindy, are you all right? Are you all right? Nope. You nope. good? <laughs> breathe, Moon, breathe. Fucking choke on ice cream, goddamn. <laughs> In with the good air, out with the bad. Double, double, Twilight trouble. A toadstool mix makes power for tricks. good, but don't breathe it in. I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, I okay, found. Okay, just take a big bat of vanilla. Just... Oh, look, I found Tamo. Why is Tamo with a witch? Well, how else is she gonna learn the dark arts? She can already <laughs> change form and, and exactly, hop dimensions. exactly. Who do you Straight think? Straight before dark arts. Who do you think taught her how to change forms into the uh, different forms? Probably no. Tamo taught the witch. Nate. Listen, we all had to start somewhere. I got a guardian acorn. I reduce the damage you take by half. Ah, tough nut. Yes. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm too tired for this shit. Here, here, you want you want me to recreate what Moon feels every time we're up to our bullshit dragon? What? Every what? time we do something dumb, she just goes, "Oh no." <laughs> no. What? What? Every time you guys do something, I go. Ooh! No, 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 no. We and when she, oh, I need to get to the soundboard. When she thinks we're done, we just go. Get a load of this. <laughs> face dust, face dust, face dust. And when she gets her hands on me, she's gonna give me the old. I'm just gonna go over oh, here wait. now. I need to go back that way. I thought we had to blow these rocks up with bombs. Not that we pushed them. Yes. Hello, Mario. Hello, dragon. <laughs> oh, God. It fucking begins. Well, the, you've heard the soundboard. The soundboard arc of the streams has begun. Right, I'm trying to remember the pattern for this. Push you down, push you this way. Wow, Link, you can't lift up a skull. Wait, 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 wait. Max, Taco Bell? You mean. Bitch, Taco Bell! Hey, Taco Bell, hire us for, for your marketing team. <laughs> I found the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, some mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. I gotta say, I love the the power sound in this game a lot more than in the original. What well, was like in the original? More high pitched. Ah, so, so ear grating. Yes, and you would like find my these voice. things all the time. Wait, you said it, not me. <laughs> It's funny you say you said it on me. Well, meanwhile, Faye would just aggressively compliment me. <laughs> TBG, hold bad. What? Hold bad. Not even Nut can save you from it. Hey. There we go. The puzzle just to get back. Yeah, I think tomorrow I might have to invest in a new controller for the Switch because the left one is really starting to stick and it's starting to get annoying. Oh. Yeah, same here. But hey, think about this. 
af after work is done, it just means that we get to finally see our boy Kiryu again. Yeah, let's hope I can get off at a decent time. We have three cartfuls of branch work. <laughs> I know my luck. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one getting stuck yeah, doing yeah. most of it. Is that a sleepy toadstool? It, it does. It has it has a sleepy told us till it does. We'll mix it up into something in a jiffy, we will. That was very white screaming. That's, that's ah! normal. It's all ready, it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a little bit to my hut? Gruntilda, what are you doing here? Ishin! You got, you gotta make a living somehow. I mean, Banjo you, Three isn't happening anytime soon. Banjo Anything's not not happening anytime soon, and I just made myself. No, sad. they did Banjo Kazooie G Fuel. Wait, what? Yeah, there's Banjo Kazooie G Fuel, <laughs> and it came with a golden Banjo Kazooie U Two's figure. Okay, I seen the U Two's. I did not need to know about G Fuel. Look, I made him weird! I'm a changed blob, and that's not all I have to say. I am not phallic whatsoever. Now that I have lips, I fantasize about playing one of the island songs on a flute. There are three hot local hits. Ow. <laughs> Get the fuck oh, out of my personal but... bubble! All three of those blobby blobs are mad. Blobs are magic, literally. I don't if no other tool. I feel about this thing. I have no other tool to do the job! Pull out one of those songs you got stuck in your head. Bubble, 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 bubble. Blah. Oh, cool, I just set him on fire. It burns! I'm just a pyromaniac. Oh, so, no. TBG. Yes, Moon. How did you like the rest of Firewatch? I enjoy. I, I I guess you weren't here when I gave my thoughts on it. I enjoyed it, although the reasoning behind everything was kind of dumb. Yeah. And but also, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I liked the characters. DBJ, you're the pyromaniac. Didn't I tell you set an alleyway on fire in my D and D campaign? Maybe. I remember, I remember talking about this. I don't think so. It's it's a vague memory, at least. Uh, we were fighting to try and get our stolen stuff back. There was like a tar-like substance on the floor. I had the birdie did to light on fire oh, when the enemy yeah, was in it. Remember. And then it, yeah, and then it kind of spiraled out of control from there. And then I was, and when you did that, you were like, Oh no! Yeah! And I was like, oh shit, because I got arrested. And then everyone was just like, oh fuck, what do we do now? Yeah, no, literally, our DM had to cut it short because she needs to make a prison. <laughs> and she's never had to do that before. <laughs> you went to her, her, uh, tea, her hut, right? Whose hut? The Delilah's hut. Yeah. So... Did you actually... Did... Ah, God. I can't remember Words. my ending. There's a couple endings that you could pick. I, I chose to go back to my wife. Because she's like, it's the right thing to do. Yeah, I did the same. <laughs> Alright, who wants to play a green game? One of Yoshi. Don't get the piece I... of heart first. Priority, CBG. Why are there so many Mario references? Because this is a remake of an old Game Boy game, and they just kind of did that back then. There's also some Kirby references. I see more Mario than Kirby. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's more, there's more Mario than Kirby, but there is some Kirby in here. Yeah, like the Gordos. Mm -hmm. But also, there's actually an explanation as to why there's like a bunch of other properties in this game. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, at least this isn't like uh, the, the the UFO catchers that we played at round one that one time. 
I have not played Crane Game Toriba in a little bit. We're I like how like the thing, the two things that you need are just stationary and not uh, the things moving back and forth to make it hard on you. Oh. Well, that <laughs> you say that <laughs> you had to open your mouth. <laughs> I'm not recovering from this one. <laughs> this is like UFO catch all over again. You know what? You insisted on playing that thing. Yes. What you Sir. want? Um, my point is you wanted to play it until you couldn't anymore. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, nudge it over this way. We might have a problem here. <laughs> Come by his big, big old fucking schnaz. <laughs> well, I, I did for a bit. It's like big in his nose. Here, actually, no, we need to do this correctly. Hold on. Uh, let's... <laughs> that shield okay back there? Listen, it's doing its best. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, now we can get Yoshi. What'd you put on? The crane game, mini game sound effect from a uh, song from Mario Party. Oh, well, we can't hear it then. <laughs> No! <laughs> God, it's just like that crane game all over again. Mm-hmm. Okay, this time for sure. Goodbye, Karma. Alright. I gotcha. You're good. Don't you dare flick it out of clock! No! No, you... Mm. <laughs> how? <laughs> Literally, How? Hold on, hold on. I know the perfect thing for this. Okay, for love of God, please just get him onto the conveyor. I, uh, ha, what, what is going on? What is go? What is going on? Um, did you break the game? <laughs> I don't know. It was right on top of him. Okay. I think I... Okay. It's got him. It's got... Lift him. All right. Careful. Careful. You... Mm. <laughs> this, this... This is just mirroring an actual crane game at this point, but just how much bullshit it is and inflicts your prize around all the time. Okay. Well, like I said, you insist. What I just sent to TV talk is just TVG right now. Okay. Okay, is it that one scene from Spongebob? Maybe. Figured. Oh, by the way, we finally got him. <laughs> it bounces back in. God, I wouldn't put it past this game. <laughs> now, what if I told you it's a similar situation to the Arrow mini game in Link, Link to the Past? No, because I actually got a piece of heart for this. I met with the Yoshi. I've played Link to the Link's Awakening before. I know that this is useful for something. Well, if they changed it. I'll come back later to burn this place to the ground. <laughs> I mean, you can pick up the the uh, the shop owner of the crane. Oh, that's right, <laughs> you can. I don't have the money for it, though. I need 10 rupees. Oh, you want a Yoshi doll. Cheapskate. We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom's really desperate to have one. Right, your mom. Our mom's gonna be so jealous, huh? Oh, she's probably back at our house, the one up north with the two doors. I like this remix of the village theme. Secret shell, but what do you do with it? What do you do with a secret shell? It's a secret. The world may never know. Okay, we got 10 rupees. I'm going back to get my revenge on this guy. You, you tell it secrets. The magic conch shell. I uh, speaking of shell. Oh. Well, uh, you have to get this stuff now. 
Uh, can I get the the shopkeeper? Last I checked, you can. Oh no 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 no! That's right, Marin does it. Oh, that's right. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, we'll have to come back later when we find uh, when we have a travel. TBG's <laughs> people shrink, realizing that. Don't worry, your demise will come soon enough. Doesn't one of the shopkeeps like sort of kill you if you try to walk out of an item? Yeah, that's the actual shopkeeper, not the crane game guy. It'd be just this fucking guy. laser blast you. Yeah, you just literally just come on me, as your ass. Can we see it? Uh, is there a way to save? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so what do you what do you think we should take? Should we get the shovel for two hundred? Should we take no, the... no, be a real shit. Just walk out the piece of heart. All right. I'll take this. Put it on my tab. Hey, you stop! You gotta pay. Uh, put that back. I uh, don't do it in this version. What? Okay, maybe with a smaller item. Right, the shovel. A shovel smaller. Nope. What? They don't let you walk out and them zap you? Oh, wait, maybe if we have the money for it and then walk out. That could be the thing. All right, well, oh, hi, Marin. <laughs> hi, Terran went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this, it's called Ballad of the Windfish. Okay, that is just a very pretty rendition of it. It is. Have you ever read the manga for this game? No, I have not, and I've been meaning to also read the, the Majora's Mask manga. What about Twilight Princess? I have not read that one either, but that is now on my list. You, you need I mean, to just... read Twilight Princess. It's so good. Like, if you like that I, game, I've mainly been reading the, I, the Sonic IDW comics recently. But, uh... The, the manga based off of this game is legitimately one of the saddest things I've read. Oh. Yep, they're my boys. I'm Papel. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. Uh. Would you get the Yoshi doll, my baby? No, it's mine. What no. a shame. Uh. Alright, fine. Here, have the doll. Uh. No! You're indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. After you just refused it for me. You trade the Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Now now I'm just thinking of the song from Chowder. This for that, and that for this. <laughs> Let's see, that's for a pokey. That's for a boo. Again, just a lot of Mario enemies. A spiny. A shy guy. Shy guy. I wonder. Moon's probably, Moon's probably just like, what the fuck is with all the Mario enemies? I don't know if I should say the the thing about this game, or I sh since Moon's this is probably Moon's first time experiencing it. Well. Is it Moon? <clears throat> huh? Is this your first time experiencing uh, Blink's Awakening? Yep. All right, then I'll keep my mouth shut. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade it me for dog food? Hey, it's sweetheart. No. No. No! <laughs> no, it's Rosie. Yeah, no. That was gremlin-like as her. <laughs> At least Sweetheart has some class. Pfft, don't lie to our faces. Sweetheart's in terms of her clothing. Don't lie to our faces. In terms of her battle theme, yes. <laughs> Remember, World we're End talking Valentine is such a good boss theme. I don't know. I don't think it's better than Jawbreaker. Oh no, Jawbreaker is also really fucking good. Pluto's theme is also good. Pluto's theme is probably my like my favorite out of all the boss themes in that game. 
But also, okay, okay, who's your favorite boss to fight? Uh, favorite boss to fight. I'd have to say Space Boyfriend. Really? Yeah. What about a mix of your favorite? I don't know. I, I just I just like the flow. Like some of the later fights, like Humphrey took forever to beat. Yeah, Humphrey's uh, also just extremely fucking unnerving. Yeah, and just annoying. Like yeah, his theme's really unnerving. Uh, Mr. Jossum, his fight kind of dried out a bit because of the stupid guard mechanic of his, where he just keeps calling bodyguards out before you can attack him. I've seen the screenshots for the place of hero, and I want to play it. <laughs> I think that's with the new version that's on Switch and consoles. Yeah, I'm waiting for the collector's edition, though, because I know it's going to be a thing. I'll go poof. Yeah, I'm giving him all the drugs. See, look, he's tripping out already. <laughs> tripping out? He's spinning out. Hello. Oh, oh. oh that's the last of the oh, kid I remember. Oh. It was biting into the big juicy toadstool. And then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't talk like that. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was a fun. Maybe I can, can I skin it. Yes. Maybe I can skin it and turn it into a suit. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Mario was my fucking lawyers. I'm gonna tuck it out. I think I'd better say the spell before I head home. Let's see. I have lawyer one, lawyer two, lawyer three. What the fuck is lawyer twenty? <laughs> Vacation. I didn't think of that. <laughs> also, Dragon, we went to a place called Otherworld. There was literally a room that looked like Humphrey's little ink friends. Oh, God. How unnerved were... were you, Moon? Uh, here. Actually, I have a picture of it. I can s send it to you. <laughs> I'm still asking you a question. Moon, how unnerved were you? Uh, she didn't want to go in. She was just like, no, nope, I don't want any of this. That's fair. All right, it's I, I remember watching the bottom. Moon was just as unnerved as I was when I first ran the, the Humphrey boss fight. You, you, you'll see why I was unnerved. I right. still... So, well, right. you were un like, unlike me, you were unnerved by Humphrey from the beginning. Hmm. Oot. Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is sitting there. Go now. The windfish is waiting, Hoot. This is the swamps, mysterious forest. Oh, these, I don't know their name, but they're assholes. They swipe your rupees. Uh, the like likes. Yeah. And if you're playing Majora's Mask, or, or I think also Ocarina of Time, they steal your shield. Most likely because of Majora's Mask, you reused a lot of Ocarina of Time assets. It uses all of Ocarina of Time's assets, but it has a lore reason as to why. Yeah. And it's still a, and it's a superior game to Ocarina. <laughs> oh yeah, Moon, I have a another quick question. Mm. A friend has helped me make a game, and we have set up a server just to have everything in one place as what we're doing. Would you like to be a part of it so you can uh, test play a builds when they're ready? Um, sure. Okay, right. I'm glad that you physically said that because of all the stuff that's been going on on Discord. I was actually kind of worried. It was just like, oh, you got hacked. No, 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 no. It is an actual server where we're test building. But like making a game and my friends do gonna make test builds and oh yeah no fuck that i see i see the pictures tbg <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, thing about it was you could crawl into that thing's mouth and apparently there was something inside <laughs> no. it. like there were a lot of things that you had to crawl into like uh there was like one that was like an old timey like rubber hose like cuphead style uh like horror room uh, I'll show uh, it to you in a second. And then, Moon, here's me. the invite. And then there was just a room that me and Moon were just like, nope. That we didn't even, uh, even look into because it was just like, oh, it was crawling with spiders. Big, fuzzy, terrifying spiders. Well, not crawling, but you get the picture. Also, is this supposed to be a buzzy beetle? 
Hmm? I think that's supposed to be I a guess buzzing in a way. Meal. In a way, yes. Or those little things that bumped you and linked to the past. Maybe. I'm gonna say it's a buzzy beetle just because of how much uh, Mario stuff's in this game. Oh yeah, TBG. Yes. Sauce. Dragon, how many times do I have to tell you for the love of God? Enough with the sauce. But I want all the sauce. Okay, what kind of sauce? Yes. Mm. Note, there's only one correct answer for what kind of sauce you want. What, the pasta sauce? Yeah, but what kind of pasta sauce? Marinara? Wrong! <laughs> he said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah, that's weird. I'm just going to go, oh my god, I'm going this way, my brain, I did not get that image, I'm running away, it's I'm just running spaghetti away. sauce. I'm going this way. It's spaghetti sauce, Moon. I did not need to hear that phrase. <laughs> what, don't you, don't, don't you ever, don't you She's ever. She's going to kill you, no, no, she will actually kill you. Eh, I'm used to it. She tries to do it down on a weekly basis. Moon, have you? Ever, don't you ever fantasize about wanting to be buried in mom's sauce? <laughs> oh no! I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man. Brain it on. Touch his neck. Like Murray, bring it on. <laughs> oh, so you you better lock all your doors doors tonight, TBG. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Mwax, get sauced! Yeah. He wants me to get drunk? <laughs> that's what that's what that term means. I know. Do you want to get drunk, TBG? Uh... They're probably dull the pain Moon's about to bring on to you. Uh, it depends. Not your father's root beer? No, he, he just has to worry about his neck. That's all. <laughs> we gotta no. ring it? No. I'm gonna do this. Touches it and tickles. <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? God damn it. <laughs> there we go. So he that's what happens when TBG gets his neck tickled. <laughs> he he sounds like he's getting hit with a taser. No, I just turned into <laughs> Peter Griffin. <laughs> I just, I just any, time anyone touches my neck, I just go. <laughs> Turn aside and find ones with a shield. What, man? You okay? Yep. Is it because you got Peter Griffin? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, mm. dragon! She just got Griffin. Hell, you're no longer invited to the server. Okay. Uh oh. There goes Moon. Might be having connection oh, and, issues. And there she and is. And there is Moon. Moon, you good? Mm hmm. No, she's not. She wants to wring your neck, remember? I, 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 she, she always wants to wring my neck. <laughs> More so than usual. What? Yeah. Spinies. Why can't we oh, have yeah, these Moon, version of Spinies in Mario games? They're adorable. If you look at the concept art, don't question the car legs. Uh, what? <laughs> we look in concept art, don't question the car legs as an enemy. Also, Goombas. These are the happiest looking Goombas. Listen, they're, they're just down here vibing, no plumbers. Ring my neck? How's my neck gonna answer the phone? <laughs> listen, listen, you guys just like, do a lot of the neck crunches. The puns are killing me tonight! Wait, what do you mean, puns?
Yeah, what do you mean puns? I haven't said a single pun. Uh huh. Legitimately, if I have an accident, then probably I haven't been saying any on purpose. You know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. Link doesn't use his legs to climb up ladders. He just uses his straight up upper body strength. That's inefficient. He just wants to be a show off. Listen, he's small. He needs to compensate. <laughs> oh, so that's why Zelda left him. God, I'm just... <laughs> I need a minute. Like... <laughs> Not really a master sword now, is it? Yeah. <laughs> My lord. Hello. You good, Oh, where's a pillow so I can scream into it? I always like this game because see, of just like how Mo, weird you see, I took all your pillows and I need to reload the pillow cannons. No. <laughs> yes. Nope. Pillows for you. How dare you take my pillows? I needed ammo. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. As long as you didn't take the body pillow, you're good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Moon? <laughs> Moon, you good? <laughs> Just <Fucking> to... <laughs> the what? See, look, the pillow cans are all nice and reloaded. Boon, why do you have a body pillow of me? <laughs> Those weren't supposed to be shipped until next month. She's gonna kick you into gonads one of these days. <laughs> no, not kick, flick. Ah, no, that's worse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's okay, TPG has a body pull of me, too. <laughs> no, I don't! Somewhere. Don't, no, I don't! <coughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Listen, Moon, don't tell him! It's supposed to be a secret! <laughs> <laughs> but not gonna lie. Just as a crew- Plotso just has a Mungus crewmate on it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Uh, if I look hard enough, no, I could no, probably find an Among no, Us no, body no, pillow somewhere. Even, it's not even like a sexual pose or anything. It's just, it's just a sprite from the game. No, no, it's the crudely drawn crew member from an Among Us. <laughs> so, I have an important question, uh, Dragon. Yes? Did you get the Among Us ship on Destiny? No, I, I haven't played Destiny in a little bit, actually. Well, also, he doesn't have the season. Oh, fuck. Well, shit. I mean, if I have a compensation, I have a blueprint of the Skeld. Hmm. But yeah, uh... You, Moon screamed in pure terror when I told her, yeah, you just got the Amunna ship. <laughs> Why did she scream in terror? Because it's like, no! Why is Amunna us here? Oh, that hurt. Ow. <laughs> Are you alright? You know, when you drink soda and you, like, burp and it goes up your nose? Uh, oh, so soda up the nose is the worst. Yeah, I just did that. Oh, my Hello, gosh. Hello, how about you take your water? You said that just oh. as this thing popped in and so it's like it, it looks like it would make that sound you made. Hello, I thought the bed you though I look like a burger. I God, I was about to say it looks like a burger in this game. <laughs> it looks like a burger in every game. Yeah, but more so in this because it looks like it's got like a overabundance of lettuce. Yes, my name is Mac. I know the irony. That's one moldy burger though. You saying I'm old? 
Mold. Yeah, you see, I got mold. <laughs> TBG just he needs a minute. Oh, you didn't hear it? No, no. I didn't. Hmm, weird. Actually, smooth I have Pepsi Nitro in the fridge. I'm gonna go grab one. Oh, Moon, I found your cello. Oh, hey, look at that. I thought the cello was like, had like a, a deeper tune to it, not like high pitch. That's more like a viola or a violin. Yeah, I'm gonna say cellos are more Swamp. deeper. Yeah, they're like, da -na -na, da -na -na. it almost sounds like I'm seeing the Uncharted theme. <laughs> I wonder if someone's actually ever taken like the instruments of this and just remixed it to the Uncharted theme. Never know. Ow. Get used to seeing this owl. He's everywhere. Hoot, that is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit that at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you the directions. Your next goal is north in Gaponga Swamp. Hoot, indeed. Moon, be mm. careful. I think there might be one of us might be an owl in disguise. Ooh. I don't know, but keep an eye out. Wait a second. <laughs> I got that joke. I've seen that joke one too many times. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if I remember what some secrets are around here. So this is a remake of Link's Awakening? Yeah, from the original Game Boy. Or the Game Boy... What's it? Wait. No, Game Boy Color. Is this the one you played? No. No? Okay. No, that was... What was that one that you played? Uh, that one was... Uh, Link to the Past, wasn't Link, it? Yeah, that was Link to the Past, and that also got a remake, and that was uh, Link Between Worlds. Mm. I had to think for a mic. Wait, I know it. Don't tell me. <laughs> I am back with the Beepus Nitro. He said he's flapping his jaw. And said, Honestly, I <coughs> sorry. I could see this like being voiced by, dra you get being voiced by Dragon. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what? Just like the way this guy looks is it, it, I would figure that he'd have your voice. <laughs> Doesn't help that you both Does that he have? It's canned dog food? For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please! <laughs> Gonna lose it if I can't get that can. Lose. Wow. Well, fuck you! <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not reading dialogue. I'm just leaving it at that. Oh, God damn it! All right, fine. Here's your dog food. Why do you even need dog food? I have dogs. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Eat the can and all. What are you, a goat? <laughs> Listen, don't, don't question the anatomy of dragons. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. Oh, banana. Funny enough, I don't like bananas. And yet you have them in your vacation home. Oh. You guys ever had Pepsi Nitro? What? You ever had Pepsi Nitro? No. Is it just Pepsi but really cold? No. So the point no, of it is... No, there's not. That's Pepsi Zero. No. Pepsi Nitro is like it's not it doesn't taste flat, but like it's a less carbonated version of Pepsi that you're supposed to like hard pour into a glass cup. So like it has like a smoother and creamier taste to it. Mm. Hey buddy, it's serious, yeah, real serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. 
Yeah, that's right, whole game of Moblins. Then, it's for real, they went to the house. Yeah, that house, and they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the m m Moblins. It's so mean, ah! Might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. It's terrible, my bow. My... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> go, go ahead. Go. Do it. Do it. You're committed. Aye, it's terrible. My bow wow was dog napped by my moblins. Oh, ah, uh, please, somebody help my poor bow wow. Aye. All right, well, <laughs> we'll get right on that after something important. Don't mind me. Sorry, I couldn't help but take the opportunity. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't worry, we'll go say Bow Wow any minute now. See, there's Bow Wow. Yeah, see, there she is. See, we're coming to save her by the evil crane game operator. Hmm? Oh. Okay, this is orb shaped. This can't be bad. This has to work, right? Oh no. Oh no. Gently. Gently. <laughs> Careful. Ooh. You're good. You're good. You're yeah, good. good. <laughs> Bounce back in. The magic conch shell. All hail the magic conch. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, no. Hail the magic conch. <laughs> No. <laughs> Can I please catch you in the crane game? No. Can I please catch you in the crane game? No. Can't, don't you say anything else. No. <laughs> You're supposed to say try again later. No, don't oh. you? Okay, <laughs> thank God. It's been, it's been a little session in the episode. <laughs> All right. Good Lord, you're almost out of rupees. Don't worry, he's about I'll... to win some more. Don't Essentially. Say anything. At least not until it's it up, until fuck, the it up fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the fuck is this game hard? <laughs> you, you and TBG are freaking out. I'm just wanting the chaos. <laughs> I got the secret seashell, but it ain't to hear any other words of whispered secrets. Please never do that again, for fuck's sake. Well, welcome to the Link's Awakening ASMR. I got a chow chow figure. That's it, I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs> Get a load of this! Alright, I'm pretty sure I know where this thing goes. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I know where it goes. Fuck. I thought I saw a display thing here because it's like, oh, you can display it somewhere. Probably here. Oh, that's for Bow Wow. Isn't that... Oh, right, probably right oh. there. Yeah, the, the, the Chow Chow. There we go. So apparently Chows are going to be in Sonic Frontiers in some way. But no Chow Garden... Well, apparently there's going to be a fishing mini game of Big. Yes. <laughs> this is the first time Big's uh, come back in a Sonic game, I think, since Sonic no, he Heroes. Was Sonic R no, he was in Sonic R Racing. I mean, like an official Sonic game. Uh, is that a telephone on someone's roof? Oh, that's a, that's a phone house. Yeah, you know the old guy that we saw inside that one house? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> the shy one. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Orira. Ask hey. me. Ask me anything. That's about the old man voice. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Well, most moblins live in mysterious forests, but some live in the caves on tall, tall heights. I hope that's what you wanted to know. Click. 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 Why are these chickens so round and plump? 
Because they're cuckoos. Just don't like attack them. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, he's trying to mix the he's trying to mix the spastic music with her singing. There. Also, just because I really do like this rendition of it. All right. Well, unfortunately, as much as I would love to continue into Link's Awakening. I actually do have to go into work tomorrow, so we're gonna have to cut it here. Wait. Well, you well then swing your sword then. All right. <laughs> Don't cut, Baron. Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you it's said. A good dick. Hey, look, I, I didn't paid say. For... I didn't say to cut Baron or the fox. Just swing your sword. And I did. They just happened to be in the way. Well, you got what you deserved. The fox attacked you. Exactly. All right, let us go to save. All right, and we'll continue our adventure in this next Thursday. And hopefully I can actually do it at a decent time and actually get a lot of progress in and hopefully I don't have to worry about work on a Friday. But hey, we finished up, uh, fuck, Firewatch. Fuck Firewatch? That's a, that's an odd game. Uh, with the relationship between Henry and Delia was going, that's probably how it was going to end in one, one of the <laughs> endings. Also, where is that Klonoa gift from? So apparently, I think for the sake of Saturn, there is a, a soccer game, and Klonoa is an unlockable character in it. Why? I, I know, know, because like Namco probably made it, but why Klonoa? I think that was when, in, at the height of Klonoa, it's like... Uh, coming out. Hold on, let me see if I can find. So you weren't pulling anybody's like, is there really another Klonoa game coming out? Moon. Yeah, they so released. They it's just that. They just released the first two games. It, it's a what? remake of the first two games. So Lunatis Veil vale and the first game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I gotta get it. I, gotta I get already it. have it on my Switch, and I'm already enjoying it. <laughs> I need to play Lunatiesville. I haven't played that in so fucking long. It's on every major console. I think it's on Game Pass, actually. And we're just like, I'll be right back. <laughs> you didn't hear that slam? That would have been me slamming my... <laughs> Shit, where's the remote? Ah! <laughs> you have 10 minutes to download it. Fuck All you. right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go find ourselves a target. God, what oh, what, God. What, um, what are we raiding tonight with? Uh, I have no idea, but I do have a raid target. All right, uh, send it to me in Discord. Uh, there was something I wanted to do for a raid message. What was it? Damn it. Uh... Ah, uh, damn it, it was something Firewatch related. Ah! You know, Faye is streaming right now. Oh. Okay, we can go break Faye. Yeah, she's in Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, that's the first one, right? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know it was, uh, you, if you didn't meant to say Blind Forest or Will the Wisps. You know, it's Blind Forest. All right. Game Pass, where are you? Game Pass never existed, Moon. What the fuck are you, you talking about? <laughs> okay, I got a good message. I'm on Xbox. Laughs in Series X. Damn it. Yeah. Among Us. Alright, we're gonna go raid Faye and 
We're gonna go tell her all about how crane games are absolutely rigged. <laughs> crane games are rigged. They are. Do you see the bullshit I had to put up with the, that one damn Yoshi? You misspelled crane. Oops. A N E, um, isn't it? Yeah, it's A N E. Once again, I have told TBG they are rigged, and he still insists on playing them. And then I'm just, I'm just whistling with all the stuff I've won from Toriba. Listen, if Dragon can win all that shit on Toriba with the crane game, that he's not even physically with, there to play. With a little bit of delay. With the input lag. Then I should be able to win one easily while being there in person. It's called a skill. Ah! Issue, I don't... Sorry. Boon wife, why'd you have to do that laugh? TBG, <laughs> it's simple. It's a skill issue. You're a skill issue. <laughs> Listen, I have my Kirby plushies. I have my big thick fat dumpling puffer fish. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, it's... Tomorrow, Yakuza, we'll be getting back into playing more crane games this time with our boy Kiryu because we finally get to play as him again. And also karaoke. Can't forget about karaoke. You're oh, frothing at the mouth already, aren't you? Yes, because I yes. believe that this is the one that has one of my favorite so uh, Kiryu songs. I didn't know if it was this one or the next one, but I think it's this one. Vote now if you'd like to see uh, see me sing or hear me sing this, the song. You just do like a very high pitching, cracky voice on purpose. Yes. All right, <sighs> time for it. Probably going to be uh, seven thirty ish, if not eight o'clock, just because I want to see if I can. I want to try and start streaming a little bit earlier because I definitely need to put in more time, like early in the day instead of later in the day. Before it gets too hot. Like, before it gets too. It, it's nighttime. Shouldn't it be getting colder at night and not daytime? It's. No. It was. <sighs> It's it's summer. It sucks. It's ugh. you you can just Give me fall. You can just stop right there. We're just saying it's summer. It sucks. Can we fall? All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow for Yakuza, and I will also see you uh, on Friday or Friday. Fuck, Saturday for Stardew and Sunday for a makeup stream uh, where we play some of the PS2 games that I couldn't get working last time on Wednesday. Anyways. Good night, everybody. Uh, also, Battalion Wars should be going to tom sometime tomorrow. I just need to finish up working on the outro bit, and then we'll be done with that. Anyways, night, people. Night. Night. <laughs>